Okay, today I'm going to show how I package and ship a tempered uh, lamp table glass. This is this is the glass here. What I first did uh, was wrap it in pallet uh, in pallet wrap, just like a cellophane. And so I got that wrapped up and placed it on this this uh, construction foam and. Um, about half inch half inch thick construction foam so we got about an inch three quarters of an inch on each side and then I cut some little pieces that we're gonna glue on here like so and we'll just use our hot glue gun So that should take care of that. All right, so now I'm just going to cut a little bit of cardboard here so that uh, it comes up even with the top of these uh, these little reinforcement pieces of keepers that I put on there. All right, so we got another piece of construction foam, just about the same size, and we're gonna cut it down so that it is the same size. I don't really like this light foam; it, it creates too much of a mess. I prefer the the more condensed uh, construction foam or insulation foam. Okay, so we got that piece cut, so now what we're going to do is uh, just glue this again, then put this top piece down on here, and now we're going to tape it all up, and then we'll cardboard around it. So to reinforce these corners, I just cut some little squares and uh, put them in on the corners. Grab some tape, just tape them around like that. Okay, so we got our pieces cut. So we're just going to take those and just tape them on. Okay, so I cut these strips to go around the, the edge of the package. Okay, this is it. All done up. Nice, tight, and secure package. Should make it to the destination, no problem. Hey, thanks for watching, and take care. Okay, so this video is going to show how to prepare a glass cylinder, uh, such as this Hurricane lampshade. For, uh, for shipping. What you want to do is take out the um, ability for the glass to resonate. So uh, a glass like this improperly packaged you could drop it from one foot and, uh, and it'll break or you could drop it from 10 feet and it wouldn't break. The, the key is on how you prepare this glass for shipping. So the first thing and the main thing you want to remember is to take the take away the ability for that glass to vibrate. That ting ping ping ping. You want to remove that. So
so this is how we're going to do it. One way to do it is by simply using simply using tape, and you can uh, you can just run tape down around it, crisscross it, and like they do on on windows before uh, before big hurricanes come in down at, down there on the Gulf Coast. Another way, which is the way we're going to do it here, is we're going to use some of this uh, pallet wrap. And this is basically just glorified saran wrap, stronger. But what we're going to do is we just pull this out. We'll take our shed, put it on there. We we'll just wind it around there. Give it a couple, couple of coats with that, and then and then you will notice it's a thud now. No more ping. Okay. That's pretty good, but we're going to up it a little bit. We're going to make it even better. And the next thing we're going to do is take paper, newspaper, penny paper, whatever. Stuff that down in there on the inside. And that also helps take the shock out if it happens to drop. Yeah, this. No more, no more ting, ting, ting to it. It's a thump, slap, slap, thump. Okay, somebody's gonna make fun of that, I know. Okay, so then, now we've got this uh, uh, pretty good as far as getting rid of the resonance. And we're gonna take some small bubble wrap and we'll show you how to wrap that up. Three one foot squares of baby bubble. You know, we just, it's about a 12 inch shade, so we're just going to roll this up on that baby bubble that goes around it just about two times. I'm going to take a little tape, tape that there. Okay, so we've got this uh, wrapped around the circumference of the uh, lampshade. Now we're just going to hold another one foot square up like so and we'll just tape that down along the top side. Okay so I got uh, I got these two hurricane lampshades uh, bubble wrapped up. I got a box here that's Plenty good size for for these two shades. Okay, so I sold this lampshade on eBay, and as you can see, it's large, it's heavy, and it's very fragile. And so I'm going to show you how uh, we're going to try to package this. Now these large, now these large leaded glass lampshades, Tiffany style, they're called like this, uh, are very fragile, and. Uh, this one here, you can see the spider down here. It only comes out on each side with just two wires. This is very fragile. And so what we're going to do, what we've done, wrap some cardboard around it. And so now that should go down around it like so. Okay. Now this will keep the foam from 
coming in and getting uh, too tight around our uh, around our lamp socket assembly. So we cut off about we cut off about six feet, I guess, and we're just gonna lay this in here, like so, and then we'll go get some more. We're just gonna keep pushing the bubble wrap in here until this thing is all filled up. Okay, so we got an, an eight by eight by eight box here. What we do is we're going to cut this up about two, three inches on here so that we have about four to five inches to come up off of this main shoulder of the lampshade and support, uh, give plenty of support over the top of this crown. Flip it back over again. You don't see that's sitting on that box now. And so instead of the pressure being on that glass now, it's up here on the on the shoulder of the lampshade itself. So that's how we're gonna ship this thing. We're gonna put it in the box that way. Next what we're going to do is run some baby bubbles, some little I don't know, eighth inch or quarter inch, I call it baby bubble. And we're just going to run some of that around here one, one time around. And then we're going to uh, do a cardboard uh, layer around it to give it a, a little extra strength and rigidity. There we go again. Okay, I think we're okay there for the time being. We will flip it back again. Okay, now we're getting to where the shade is really getting a little, getting some decent protection. We're gonna lay another piece of uh, cardboard in here. Then we're going to lay another piece of bubble over that. Okay, so I just happened to find a round piece of cardboard to lay on top here. And what we're going to do 
tape this down now I'm gonna cut slits bend this down and tape all the tabs around Now, the majority of this lampshade is now protected. We still got a little bit here, right up in these spots right here, where there's basically just a little bit of bubble. You can see the glass right so what there. What we're gonna do now, we had an eight by eight box here on the bottom. So what we're gonna do now is take a 12 by 12 box, and we're going to put it down we're going to put bubble on it and we're going to go the other way on this so that we cover our, these four corners here that didn't have any cardboard over them. So we'll go that way with this now and that fits just going to fit just about perfect down on top of that box. We're going to put uh, a little bit more bubble just over the top of this just to give it a little bit more cush. Put that down over the top here. Just perfect. Just a perfect fit on top of there. See now what we've done is we have created an, an outer skeletal for that lampshade. So uh, all of the pressure rides up this box goes right to the shoulder of the lampshade and then goes up onto this cardboard wrap that we've put around here. It's like a cocoon around that, around that uh, lampshade. Okay, so this is where we're at. We've got our, uh, got our lampshade uh, double bubbled, double boxed. And what we're gonna do now is uh, figure out where we need to make these folds here on these flaps and build this box up just a little bit more and then we'll uh, we'll finish it up watch out for them knives folks Okay, sometimes it's kind of tricky to make these bends without help, but one way you can do it is by taking a straight edge like this and put it underneath there so that so it's got good support right on the right where the line is, and then push down with your tummy on the on the end of the flap and hold that up underneath. And I think we've got them all now. Make sure your bins are good. Okay, to uh, take up the rest of the space here in this box, I rolled up a bunch of bubble and just put it right here in these cradles. The open part and then we're just gonna put this up and tape it up. <laughs> 